A brand new mid-range monitor with a focus on photographers and videographers is the BenQ SW240. It is also intended for people searching for a nice all-purpose monitor to utilize as either their primary display or backup screen. A 24.1-inch monitor with a 1920x1200 resolution is used, with 100% sRGB and 100% Adobe RGB color space. It promises 99% Adobe RGB color fidelity. This current suggested retail price of roughly £400 places it in the middle of the pricing range for monitors, especially those that cater to photographers. The SW240's 24.1-inch screen is a suitable size option for individuals who want a screen that is significantly bigger than a typical laptop screen, but may not have a lot of desk space. It is a sleek fashionable monitor that looks well on a desktop. The monitor is very easy to set up. There are instructions in the package on how to attach the stand to the back of the monitor. No special tools are needed. Everything is quite basic. Once the monitor is mounted on the stand, all you need to do is plug the mains wire into the screen's back to get started. The SW240 comes with a variety of input cables, including USB, DP to small DP, and DVI-DL connectors. Owners of the more recent MacBook Pro models should be aware that there is no USB-C cable included here. You will need to purchase one separately. In contrast to the more expensive SW271, a detachable shade HUD is not included and must be purchased separately. If your workstation or monitor is facing a bright source of light, such as a big window or possibly in a studio situation, you could require one of those, so it's something to think about if that's the case. The screen itself has an almost edgeless appearance, thanks to the extremely thin bezel that surrounds it. The display area is 518.4 by 324.0 mm in size. Additionally, the screen itself is not particularly thick, which is helpful if you just have a tiny workspace. The display may be rotated 180 degrees from the stand, tilted forward and backward, and raised up and down. The last capability is beneficial when viewing portrait format images. With a 178 degree viewing angle, the screen is visible from a wide range of angles, and maintains the same brightness no matter where you are looking at it. Seven physical buttons are located in a row down the bottom of the screen, with the on-off button being the most noticeable and being lighted by an LCD. The other buttons can be used to change the screen's various settings. It is possible to switch between Adobe RGB, SRGB, GB, and black and white by hitting the color mode hotkey button, which is located on the far left of the screen. When any of the other buttons are pressed, the main menu will appear on the screen, and each button will then correlate to the icon you can see right next to it. The input button, which you can use if you have more than one source for the screen, such as a laptop and a table, is located from left to right. The second option allows you to change the screen brightness. For instance, you may arrange the function of the other keys or add other modes to the color mode hotkey. When you're finished making your choices, simply press the fifth button to close the menu panel. The menu will also close on its own if you don't touch any of the buttons for a long. On the back of the display, to the side of the monitor, are USB ports and in South Dakota card slot. Although they're a touch uncomfortably positioned for comfort, there might be a nice spot to permanently connect in an extra phone charger or anything like. Although using the SD card slot when using a computer appears somewhat unusual, it's excellent to have the option present in case you need to retrieve some things. This monitor comes factory calibrated as standard, allowing you to use it right out of the box if you choose. If you want to modify the configuration to meet your specific requirements, you can refer to the calibration report that is provided. Additionally, you can download BenQ's Palette Master software, which enables you to calibrate the screen in accordance with your own preferences, using a calorimeter. Given its superb performance right out of the box, the BenQ SW240 might easily be forgiven for giving the impression that it costs more money than it actually does. Videographers working in 4K may want to look elsewhere, but even though it is in 4K, the amount of detail displayed is quite good, and should be more than enough for most enthusiast photographers. The 10-bit display makes sure that color gradations are incredibly smooth, while the monitor is quite bright. Although vivid and well-rendered, the colors themselves nevertheless retain a high level of realism. This model has a slightly lesser specification than some of the higher-end, more expensive models that are currently available, with a refresh rate of 60Hz. This, however, is to be expected for the price, and, as said before, should adequately meet the needs of the average amateur photographer. Monitors made specifically for photographers can be very expensive, and occasionally come in sizes that are too big for your workspace, or perhaps a touch extravagant for someone who views photography as a hobby. The BenQ SW240 is a monitor that falls into the middle of the market, and provides a decent all-around solution for people looking to utilize it for photography purposes, as well as regular computing needs. Even though a 24-inch monitor is smaller than some of the more costlier professional options available, it is still significantly bigger than the typical laptop screen, and
and is a fantastic size for seeing your photos. The popular frameless appearance for displays gives a neat and stylish finish, while offering you the most workspace possible, given the monitor's physical dimensions. Although there is a respectable selection of connectors, users of a more recent MacBook Pro should be aware that a USB-C connector is not provided as usual. The requirement to purchase a shade HUD separately should not present a problem for the ordinary photographer, but those wishing to utilize it in a studio environment may want to think about upgrading for a little bit more money. It's fantastic to be able to move the screen into a variety of settings, especially for photographers who frequently shoot in the portrait format. To adjust the screen to your favorite viewing position, you can tilt it forward or backward or move it up and down, using the included stand. In general, the BenQ SW240 is a fantastic option for photographers who want to purchase a good monitor, but don't have a lot of money to spend. Consider the SW271, which is more expensive but delivers 4K resolution if you're a videographer. Thank you for watching this review. I hope it was useful for you. Have a nice day and see you soon.